I think I'm going to start this video by pointing out that Contact 7 and Contact Player have a vast amount of differences, but you'd also be surprised at how similar they are. Jumping straight into it, the main difference that you can see between Contact 7 and the Contact Player is that Contact 7 will cost you a hefty penny. You can see here that normally it's $2.99, but because there's a special running, you can get it for $150 which is still a significant amount of money. Contact is also the biggest collection of virtual instruments with hundreds of officially licensed instruments available from native instruments and other leading manufacturers alongside thousands more from boutique developers, sound designers and composers. Contact 7 also gives you the ability to build your own instruments from within Contact, which you can in turn sell or give away for free, bringing it over to the Contact Player. The Contact Player is an instrument library based on Contact 7. It hosts a huge selection of native instruments and third-party instruments and included with your free download is the complete start which is a bundle with 2,000 sounds that come up to about six gigs of content so it's definitely worth the download the main difference between the contact player and the contact 7 is that with contact player you get free libraries but you're limited to those free libraries unless you can create your own but in order to create your own you need the full version of contact 7 okay that's enough talking about the differences now let me show you how you install it first of all you want to go to native-instruments.com forward slash en then you want to go to products once in products click on free once in free you want to look for complete start because complete start is going to give you everything else then you want to come down to free download once here it's going to ask you if you have an account already or you want to create one depending on whatever your situation is choose one i already have an account so i'm going to click get free software and then once you've logged in you want to click get complete start it's going to ask you for your operating system so you want to choose the one that's relevant to you for me that's windows once download did you want to run the application it's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device you want to click yes once installed you'll be presented with your home page where you'll find a lot of things as you can see i've installed most of the stuff but i can still show you how it works this is an easy way you can navigate to this thing as you can see on the top here it's got all applications instruments effects expansions and so on and so forth if you want applications for example reactor is an application so you want to come click applications and then find the application you want for example guitar rig 7 or guitar rig 5 i highly recommend any one of them because they're really good if you want to specifically just look for sounds generators and so on and so forth you want to come to instruments and these will be all your sound generators i don't have ethereal earth so i'm going to show you how to install that click install and it just starts downloading once it's done downloading you can go find it in your favorite daw but now the question is how do you install third-party instruments into your contact player so in order to install a third-party instrument into contact player we need to establish first that it is a contact player instrument and once we've established that we need to then find a serial number for that instrument for example i just downloaded the orchestra elements from sony secure and they provided me with license keys here so i'm going to take the one license key as it is copy it and then you want to come to native instruments in native instruments you want to click on add serial once you've copied your code and pasted it in, into your serial field like this you want to click add serial it's going to register your instrument you have successfully registered you can now install the product and once you've added your serials like that you'll see your instruments are loaded here if the instruments automatically install libraries it's going to say install here if you have to download the libraries from the site that you got the instrument from then it'll say locate so in my case i have to locate them and yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it please don't hesitate to leave a like and a comment and if you like this video that much hit that subscribe button and i'll be seeing you in the next video peace